Hey folks, Brian here. This year I really tried to use DaVinci Resolve upgrading from Microsoft Photos and I used to use Blender 3D in the past. But with DaVinci Resolve I realized my computer just wasn't up to the task. Right now I currently have a 650 Ti and a 750 Ti that I accumulated probably in the last maybe 10 years ago and 5 years ago and I noticed that when I use stabilization in DaVinci Resolve it totally gives up and says the GPU memory is full and I use the 750 Ti as my main graphics card and the 650 Ti as the actual DaVinci Resolve CUDA driver and so this is what it looks like it gets full and after a while it, the video clip just plays back as black so it just completely fails so what I decided to do was try and experiment take out that 650 Ti the MSI one and see whether DaVinci Resolve can handle everything with the 750 Ti and what I found is that it does it actually works fine but the issue with the 750 Ti only setup was that if I was watching a video on the other monitor it would start to stutter so even when I had two graphics cards it was a little bit different because all the DaVinci Resolve work would be done on the 650 Ti and I could still use the 750 Ti for the UI and other movies which all played back smoothly so recently I did decide to build a new computer I think I honestly I don't really need to I can get away with using a lot of DaVinci Resolve's efficiency improvements performance settings like using uh, proxy mode at a quarter resolution or half resolution and things like that but the UI is just too slow so I did get this 2070 super and <laughs> it's really big I didn't realize how big graphic cards had gotten and so I took out the 750 Ti uh, along with the 650 Ti so there was nothing in my case and then I tried to fit the 2070 Super but it was way too big so I started taking out the SSDs and I thought maybe I could wedge it in there but it was still too long after that I thought maybe I could angle it in right so I took out the RAM but that still didn't work eventually I gave up and I just took the whole motherboard the power supply I took everything out of the computer and just put everything on top of a box and in DaVinci Resolve what I found is that the 2070 Super it does the job for my videos I have no more issue and I can play back a YouTube video on the screen without a performance hit. I also got the 2070 Super because of the HEVC hardware support. So DaVinci Resolve Studio, which I use for everything here because it supports multiple graphic cards, and the free edition would not have worked with my 750 Ti and 650 Ti combination. But anyway, with the Studio Edition, it can use um, hardware encoding, the HEVC, which is good enough for my videos. I'm not producing any 4K masterpieces, so for now it's good enough. I can also use it to compress a whole ton of other video clips that I want to archive and store in what I'm calling my vault. You never know when... YouTube users or whoever decides to just delete their accounts so I wanted to start keeping some valuable information around for the apocalypse I suppose anyway my testing shows that with a graphics card alone a lot of things improve in DaVinci Resolve certainly um, exporting with MV Inc um, applying various effects um, things are much better but still, the UI is a little choppy on this AMD FX 8300. So I'm going to upgrade that in a future video. And thanks for watching. See you later.
Bye.